Hello everybody. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my name is Hiroshi Shiguro. Uh, I'm a professor of Osaka University and I have several appointments. My activity is everything is for avatars. Right? Today I'm talking about avatar and AI technologies. So this is my dream. I have started my robot an avatar project around the 2000. And my goal is to realize this human avatar symbiotic society. So this is my R&D history for the interactive robots. Always I'm developing both autonomous robot, computer agent, and teleoperated robot and computer agent, that is the avatars. But recently, I'm focusing on the avatar development. This is one example of my robot, and this is, I believe this is one of the most human-like robots. And always people ask me these questions. Why do we need humanoid robots? The answer is simple. The human has a brain that recognizes humans. Therefore, the ideal interface for the human is humans. So we realize human-like information media that people can easily use and interact with. At the same time, we will use it to understand higher cognitive function of humans. So we explore what it means to be humans through interaction with human-like robots. So this approach is called the constructive science with intelligent systems. We are developing the robot for our futures and for understanding the human cognitive functions. So for in robotics, we focus on the development of uh, the elements of uh, human-like robots, for example, the um, sensors and manipulators. The so bottleneck was uh, the conversational abilities, but thanks to the large language model, we could solve the, uh, that bottlenecks. Now, we can focus on the uh, meta-level cognitive function of humans and robots, such as intelligence, embodiment, intention, desires, consciousness, and social relationships. So this is one example of the applications of a large language model for the Android. Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you. How can I assist you today? Could you explain about your research? My research focuses on developing humanoid robots that can think and work like humans. I am also interested in understanding what it means to be human through robotics. So, we have input uh, more than 10 books I have written and almost all media interviews. Then, this Android my copy can answer to the any kind of questions instead of me. It's so the uh, similar to me. And by using these technologies, the, I'm trying to realize human avatar sympathetic societies. So, uh, 2006, I have developed my twin copy, and the, I have developed the uh, very simple, the easy. Uh, interface for operating the uh, Android. Okay. So this is the sixth generation of my copy. This avatar project is one of the moonshot projects of the cabinet office of Japan. As you can see here, this Android can have a much better gesture than me. If we want, we can use a more simplified avatars like this. So elderly prefer to interact with this simplified avatar. I'm also developing the computer graphics avatars uh, in my companies, the Abita. I have st launched this startup companies two years ago. So this is an example of a cartoon-like avatars. Actually, the Japanese companies prefer to use uh, this kind of a cartoon like avatars. And but for the 
uh, foreign companies, they prefer to use the uh, this very realistic avatars. Um, so we don't need to use uh, special computers, uh, special equipment, special devices for operating uh, these avatars. We can use just uh, normal computers. Okay. And if, well, the uh, people can work like this, the at home, right, by using a uh, normal computers, that they can operate the avatar easily. An avatar doesn't take the uh, much space, right? You know, by using a tablet computers, that we can put the avatar anywhere. This is a uh, very convenient. And actually, the this uh, insurance companies, insurance marketplace, Hokkien Ichiba, uh, they are using the our avatars. So avatar is a top salesperson. Right. So that you know, actually, the, we are uh, changing the uh, this kind of a business by using avatars, and we are also using the avatars in the convenience stores. In the convenience stores, uh, we are using the uh, automated cash registers, but the services are so complicated, we are, and the customers they may ask some questions. So in such case, the avatar works, right? Um, actually, many kind of people are working the, uh, in these convenience stores as the operators, for example, the handicapped people, uh, for example, the people living in a local place. So this is a very, very important thing. And we are also providing the avatar training AI, right? So um, the operator can have a role play with the AI. Hi, so I'm not really sure what kind of insurance I need. Can you help me out? So please tell me your problem. Uh, well, you see, I got this five-year-old son and I'm worried about his school fees. So ac actually the operator can iterate this kind of a training as much as the he or she wants. So this is a very, very uh, the impressive progress. And in addition to that, the avatar training AI can evaluate the performance of the operators like this. As a sales trainer, I must say that you did a good job in identifying my concerns and suggesting a suitable insurance plan. You were patient and attentive to my needs. As you can see here, the AI can give uh, uh, pretty good trainings for the operators, for the humans, and the human can work by using the avatars. So this is our futures. So um, in order to realize this, the avatar symbiotic, human avatar symbiotic society, we are running the very big project. It's called the Moonshot. The Moonshot has the seven goals uh, we have to achieve by uh, 2050s in Japan. The first goal is to realize avatars. So by 2050s, we want to realize a society in which people are free from the constraints of body, brain, space, and time. This is our goal. Okay. Um, actually, we want to realize this kind of societies. Anyone, including the elders and the people with disabilities, will be able to freely participate in various activities with abilities beyond ordinary people while expanding their physical, cognitive, and perceptual abilities using a large number of avatars. So anyone will be able to walk and study anytime, anywhere, minimize commuting to walk, and have plenty of free times. So, I hope to realize this kind of ideal societies. And of course, in order to do that, we need to carefully discuss about the ethical and the security issues, all right? So these uh, issues are example, right? So now we are tackling to solve the, these issues. But the most important thing is the diversity and the inclusions uh, by using avatars. The human has a body, Therefore, the human discriminate against humans based on our bodies. Avatar frees humans from the restriction of our bodies and create a society of diversity and inclusion. Using avatars, we can realize a society in which everyone recognizes each other, connect with each other, and live together. Thank you for your attention.